right, guys, we're going to go over the push-up. Probably a, different, a little bit different than uh, how you've been coached on the push-up before. I've shot a video on this before, but uh, I wanted to kind of update it a little bit uh, as uh, a few things have changed. So uh, what I want you to think about uh, when you set up in that push-up position, that you first want to start off with your hands okay, as big as possible. The reason being is because uh, if you've heard the term kind of rip the floor apart, what I want to act like I'm doing, right, is if this is the floor, my hands are on the floor, I want to act like I'm kind of ripping this way, okay? So what that's going to help do is get my shoulder into a good position, okay? A lot of us throughout the day, right, we, our pecs are really tight, we don't really activate uh, that mid and, and upper back, so those shoulders tend to round forward, the shoulders out of a, 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 a good position here. So when I rip the floor apart, that's going to actively okay, contract those lats, okay, get my upper back involved, and that's going to be the support for my shoulder. A good sort of uh, a, a thing to look for uh, to make sure that you are kind of creating that. If you don't really feel your lats, some people just don't have that mind-muscle connection. So what I want you to look at, too, is what are the pits of your elbows doing? So here, if I'm not really thinking about ripping the floor apart, the pits of my elbows are facing each other. If I think about ripping that floor apart, now they're facing directly towards you, okay? So that's a good indicator that I'm kind of getting that shoulder, okay, down and away from those ears and into a good position, okay? The other thing is where our hips are at, okay, in relationship to the rest of our body. So again, a lot of times we'll see a sagging position here, right? And this is the top uh, of, of most people's reps. And they'll kind of crank out push-ups this way, okay? What I want you to think about is everything should move together, okay? From hips, rib cage, shoulders, head, everything should be moving together. It should look like we're moving in one line. So I'll show you what I mean. So again, I'm gonna get into my setup, ripping that floor part, and then I'm gonna think about compressing my rib cage and pushing the floor away to even start that position. So even though I'm pushing away, I can still rip that floor apart, get my shoulders back and down, shift my weight over my hands, and up. So again, you're creating more active tension here. At first, it's gonna be a lot harder. So if you're used to doing 15, 20 reps, you're probably only gonna get five to eight reps doing it this way, okay? But you're gonna protect your joints, you're gonna be a lot stronger in your push-up, and you're gonna get a lot more support out of your upper back, core, and glutes as well. Everything's gonna be firing on all cylinders in order for you to perform each rep perfectly.